Hey pack. I am going to do another Am I the A-hole <laughs> reading. And this one's only 11 hours old, so I may start doing some of the older ones because there'll be like updates and stuff. But this one just caught my eye. It was I'll be honest, it sounds a little Okay, here's the title. Am I the A-hole for wanting to secretly test or secretly DNA test my child. Plot twist, I'm the mother. That really sounds clickbait -y. <laughs> And so I'm like, is this even gonna be true? But maybe they're just really good at, but it says advice needed. So. There were complications when my son was born, so they whisked him away from us for a while before we ever saw him. It got really, really worried. They brought him back to us finally, and it's so painful to admit, but I looked at him and crystal clear thought, whose child is this? That thought, that thought, I've told no one ever. I felt horribly guilty for the flash of a thought, but I couldn't let it go. I was groggy and brainless from everything, but still it sliced through my mind. They tucked a super chubby, super ruddy, super lovable and squeezable baby into my arms, but he looked nothing like any of my other kids when they were born or any of the other babies in the extended family. They were all fair skinned, slim and long. He was super pudgy, darker skinned and adorable, but I had a major brain disconnect when they handed him to me. Fast forward many, many years he has no familial traits. None of my children look anything alike, but you can trace similarities between them. But I can't find any similarities between his demeanor or physical structure and the rest of the entire extended family. Not eyes, not lips, not smile, not hands, not feet, not personality, or anything else. Obs. <laughs> Obviously, this definitely happens to family but I've always wondered, and I love him insanely. Again, fast forward many, many years to today. He was just diagnosed with a heartbreaking disease. It's something you would think would show up somewhere else in the family, but no. So now I can't help wondering if he's not mine and whether I should secretly try to get a DNA test to see if he might be someone else's child to see if we can learn about other possible health issues but I don't really know what I'd do with the information. What happens if I learn he's not mine? Do I just try to get the family history or do I break? Do I tell him? Do I tell the family? Do I go after the hospital? Do I F up his life in my state of overload? I'm guessing I'd probably unwittingly go after the hospital at the least even though I kid myself I'm a good person. I know myself well enough to know I'd pick up the phone immediately, but I hope I'd call just one person I could trust instead of drama dumping everywhere. I hope. And screw telling his dad who would treat him like he was a defective. There's a reason he's an ex. TLDR, am I the a-hole for secretly trying to DNA test my son to possibly confirm what I've always thought that he's not really mine. And if I'm not the a-hole, how the hell do I secretly DNA test him? And if I'm not the a-hole, am I the a-hole for not telling my jerk of an ex if he's not ours? What about his brothers and sisters? What about him? Jeez, oh dear, bring it on. <sighs> oh my gosh, that is such a... Because kids have been swapped at birth. The, the, it's entirely possible. I mean, I would say get the test. No matter what, the truth needs to be known. And what if by contacting his family, one, you get to see your biological child. But two, you might be able to learn something about his health condition and I don't, she didn't say what kind of condition is, but if it's something that needs a compatible donor, the other family would be more likely to be compatible. 
kind of wish you would say what the disease is. I'm not trying to be nosy, but especially if it was something like where you would need a bone marrow transplant or something. I, I'm not familiar with a lot of diseases, so, you know. Okay, so this was posted by Life Change, Life Changes Over Time. Okay. So get a DNA test done to see if the heart condition is, wait, did they, she say heart condition? with a heartbreaking disease. She didn't say heart condition. Is genetically based so you can look out for it with your other children. Perfectly reasonable thing to do. The fact that other things might show up is a bonus. Same here, I accept, except I have factor two my whole family did genetic testing after my sister died from DVTPE. Gosh. Yeah, OP says heartbreaking diagnosis that doesn't run in her family, but doesn't say what it is. I'm curious as to what it is. It happened to me and a few others. Not the a-hole. Baby swaps have happened, whether intentional or accidental. If you're genuinely concerned, then do the DNA tests. Not the a-hole. Hospitals occasionally mix up the children. Which is so weird to me. When my son was born, one of the nurses only had one job. Put the tamper-proof ID bracelet on him. He has his bracelet. He wasn't even completely out yet. You'd be surprised. For my first child, the nurse put the wrong name on the ID bracelet. We only noticed a couple of days later. Fortunately, the baby was always either with my wife or myself when they cleaned her, for example. And the baby with the other name was still in the hospital with its parents. Two babies had the same tag. <sighs> the nurse was just tired after spending a full night, 23 hours through eight hours helping with the labor. I was always anxious of baby swaps and mocked my wife for it. Now that it's came close to happening, she says I self-fulfilled prophesied this. <sighs> yeah, uh, if I end up going to a hospital to have my baby and not like a birthing center or something, I'm going to have a designated two people to always have their eye on the baby. Because I would be so paranoid about that. And it's not that I hate the hospitals. I understand they work so hard. But of all things, that's one of the most important ones. And I just... My daughter had her bracelet put on immediately, but it was slipping off all the time because it was too loose and she was a big baby. It was a tough labor and she wasn't crying at the beginning, so I wondered if the nurses just got very stressed anyway they did a crap job censoring so i wouldn't be surprised if somebody got her confused with somebody else's baby fortunately she was with me almost all the time and when they took her for an x-ray and once at night when i just couldn't get her to sleep i made sure it was her that was brought back to me she also she's also a clone of my husband <laughs> so yeah, honestly, should have been done when OP started having doubts. I would have demanded at the hospital. And I get it. She was out of it. But once the drugs wore off, I would have demanded it. <sighs> Not the a-hole. Have the DNA test and put your mind at rest about that at least. Not the a-hole. Before you do it, please go speak to a healthcare professional. Make sure you're mentally prepared for whatever the DNA result is. If he's yours, you may be run over with feelings of guilt for ever doubting your or mistreatment. And if he's not, you 
you need to make sure you do everything that causes the least stress and anxiety. Mm. Yeah, I, that is good advice. Not the a-hole. And quite honestly, I do the test so that on the off chance he was swapped at birth, you go after the hospital and win enough money to treat him to the best care the hospital's money can afford. Yes. You and your partner and your family will have to figure out emotionally what to do. I remember once reading a story of swapped at birth kid who ended up in foster care when a car wreck orphaned her, only to find out she was switched at birth and her loving family was coming to get her and both kids ended up in one family. Weird stuff happens. You're a mom. You put your head down and bull through it. But if the hospital screwed you over, use their money to save your kid. Yeah, I... Don't get me wrong. I don't blame the people as much because they get crap pay. And I'm not talking... I don't know much about the doctors and how much pay. I know they're in super debt. Most doctors stay in debt the majority of their tenure or whatever. And so, like, they get in major debt, go to, you know, eight years of college or something, maybe more depending on, you know, what they went for. And then you have these nurses and orderlies and just all these different people, so many hands, so much managing and they're working so hard and they're trying to get everything just squared away. Everything just right. They have all these protocols in order and stuff still happens. And I mean, I, I just, they're understaffed and underpaid and overworked. Uh, in my opinion, it should be against the law to make someone work ever, ever more than 12 hours. It, to me, it should be a law because honestly, in my opinion, you shouldn't have to work more than 10 hours, but 12 hour plus shifts, you become a zombie at a certain point and you're, I don't care how much caffeine or whatever is in your system. You're not operating at the best. You're not, <sighs> no. So I don't see... some of these names, <laughs> but I do not see Ah, not the a-hole Indian here and we come in every shade. So when my extremely fair mama was handed a black baby, her child for the first time, the first thing she said was, are you sure this is mine? Yep. 24 hours of labor, second degree tear. And when she finally got me, she was like, this can't be mine. But my grandma enthusiastically said, look at those long manly toes. <laughs> That's from her dad's family. She is yours, or at least his. Anyway, long story short, I got the worst genetic traits from both dad and mom. People win genetic lottery. I won genetic bankruptcy. It could be the same in your son's case, but if it helps, take a DNA test. Put your mind at ease. I hope he feels better soon. That was a really kind person. But yeah. Um, goodness. Forgot what her name was. I was trying to scroll down to see if there was any updates or answers from the author, the OP. Yeah, I don't see anything. I mean, this is only 11 hours old. I'm hoping... I mean, they have quite a bit of karma, especially compared to me. Oh, um...
Yeah, I don't know. They're definitely regular on Reddit. Yeah, I feel... I see a lot of people being mean. Yeah, but I don't see... any... What's cool is apparently you can click their profile and see how what their comments have been. But... I mean, I'm gonna save it and hopefully they can figure out what, you know, happened. Because I, I just, I can't imagine how heartbreaking that would be. Because if it is her kid, again, that guilt, what that one person said, the guilt would be eating me alive. I'd be like, I'm a horrible mother. I'm a horrible person. How could I, I mean, even with the explanations of, you know, this happens, this is a logical question. This, there's nothing. Logic doesn't make it better. <laughs> Even I'm a, I consider myself a logical person actually, but emotionally I'd be wrecked. And so, yeah, this would be something I would have to ask my child forgiveness for. Um, I would have to just come clean. I, I would literally just have to tell them, I'm sorry. I, there's something I need to tell you. And I would tell them everything just like they did in this post and <sighs> let, let the kid know. And, even if the kid is mad at you and doesn't forgive you, the act of seeking the atonement is better than holding it in and bottling it up. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel really sorry for her. And... I hope they can discover about the health issue, especially. But, um, that's it. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, after reading it, it seems less clickbaity, like more genuine. So it's probably not fake, but. I mean, there's always that whisper in the back of my head. This is probably fake. But <sighs> until next time, help them in. Bye.